Jeremy, this season four and three lifetime as a varsity pitcher, 13 wins, 12 losses. His earned run average this season below two at 1.86. Teams are hitting 218 against him. He has 58 strikeouts and 12 walks. Second pitch, chunks in a fastball for a strike. One ball, one strike. In lifetime, he has 140 strikeouts. The Bulldogs no hit this team in five innings last time. James Etheridge throwing four innings. Bailey Salter one. Jeremy comes inside for strike two. Last pitched against Atkinson County last week. A third of an inning in relief. One two pitch. Low. Ben Brantley catching. Moved to his right. Tyler Luke is playing third. Shortstop. Hunter Braddy. Second baseman. James Etheridge. Here's a pitch and it's high. Three balls, two strikes. That sounds a little different, doesn't it? Hunter's been a second baseman forever. First baseman today is Brandon Beckham with Beasley pitching. Full count pitch to Sons. Swings and fouls it back into the fence. So three balls, two strikes. Left fielder is Christian Moore. Le center fielder is Chris Mobley, right fielder Blake Horton. Full count pitch is on the way. Called strike three, outside edge. Sons had started his move toward first base, thinking perhaps it was off the dish. And ball four instead. Jeremy gets his 59th strikeout of the season, his 141st of his Bulldog career, which included 33 last year and 50 the year before and three when he was a freshman. Here's Brett Mitchell, swings and misses at the first pitch. Nothing at one. Mitchell was the number two hitter last time against the Bulldogs and went 0 for two. Curveball's hit on the ground. Hunter Brandy, first shot at short, scoops it up, fires to first, nicely, two down. Had to charge that ball and throw off balance. So, two up, two down for Beasley, and here comes Hunter Bond. Congratulations to the Toombs County soccer team. They beat Benedictine. The Bulldogs won that game 2-1. to one. They were down 1-0 to nothing until the final eight minutes, and there was a hero offensively on this particular night. Fernando Rodriguez scored both goals. Swing and a miss, strike three. Jeremy Beasley walks a batter, strikes out two, and induced a ground out to the new shortstop today, Hunter Brady, for a four up and three down as McIntosh will leave a runner at second on a wild pitch. We played a half an inning, no score between the Bulldogs at McIntosh County Academy on Y101. And here's a wind up, and here's the pitch to DR. Swings and hits a ball into the gap in left center field, and it drops in for a base hit. And DR has his fourth varsity hit of the season. Brings up James Etheridge. He has 13 hits this season and is hitting 271. Shown some power this season with a couple of triples, four doubles. He's driven in 11 runs. He's walked nine times and struck out eight. He was the number three hitter, but when the Bulldogs made the change, the Metter game, he moved from three to two, and Hunter Brandy moved from one to three, and DR's been the leadoff guy. And here's a pitch ripped into left center field. It's a base hit. Meadows around second. Puts on the brakes and falls down. A base hit for James Etheridge. So he now has 14 hits. And it's low. Of course, Meadows has beaten the Bulldogs twice this season. Playing McIntosh tomorrow down in Darien. On Friday, playing host to Long County. Then closing out with Benedictine at home in Vidalia. And a fight for second place with Jeff Davis. There's a called strike three inside edge. Jeremy has three strikeouts and one walk and has allowed one hit as he faces a tall hitter, Dallas Anthony. Buckley's 13 and 7, Taylor County 11 and 8. Here's a pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Jeremy ends the second like he ended the first with a K, his fourth of the ball game. So two Ks in each frame, but he does give up a base hit. The Buccaneers first against Bulldog pitching. And now seven innings this season. No score going to the bottom half of the second inning. The Bulldogs in McIntosh County Academy here on Y101. Ben coming off an 0-for-2 game with seven base hits this season. Three doubles and an RBI, hitting 226. Swings at a curveball, hits it hard into left field for a base hit. Christian Moore takes a big turn at second. And now they're going to throw behind him, and he gets back. So Brantley with his eighth base hit this season. Bulldogs with their third hit off Brett Mitchell today. 
And once again, runners on first and second to open up a frame. I mentioned the fact that if you finish fourth in the region, the odds are you're going to be playing either Bleckley or Taylor County in the first round of the state playoffs. This pitch is off the plate, two balls and no strikes. You know where Bleckley County is. Of course, the Bulldogs have been over there many times. They used to play in the same region with Bleckley. It's over in Cochrane. But where is Taylor County? Ball hit to the Sons. It's short. Scoops it up cleanly. Fires it to first for the out. And a run scores. Touching home is Christian Moore. Tyler Luke gets the RBI. His fifth of the season. Bulldogs lead 1-0. And now two down with a runner at third. Bulldogs 1. McIntosh County Academy nothing. We're in the bottom half of the second inning at Jackie Jones. Mitchell, a right-hander, delivers the pitch. Chris swings and hits it up high into the air. Right behind the second base position, it drops in for a base hit and scores a run. Chris Mobley with an RBI single. Bulldogs lead 2-0, a two-out hit. Yankees 3, Cubs nothing. Baltimore 3, Tampa Bay nothing. Cincinnati 4, Pittsburgh nothing. Those are all final scores. There's a ball poked right side, but DR, this might drop in for a base hit and does. Mobley rounding third, and here's a throw, and it's going to be up the line and late, and DR has a base hit, second of the ball game. And he drives in a run. DR now with five runs batted in. Inning started off with an error, then a single by Ben Brantley. RBI single by Mobley. RBI single by Meadows. Pitch is hit left side, and it is a fair ball down the line. And here comes DR Meadows to third base, stopping there. And James Etheridge strokes a double down the left field line. James with his fifth double this season. And the Bulldogs have been a team that has hit a lot of doubles over the course of time. Had 55 last year and now 28 this year. Here's the pitch. Called strike three. Beasley has five Ks. His high this season, 13 here at Jackie Jones. And that is his career high. Brings up Buzz Sons. It's a right-handed hitter at the plate with an open stance. And he swings and hits the ball right up the middle. It hops off the second base bag into center field. And a base hit and an RBI for Hunter Bond to make it 3-1 Bulldogs. So McIntosh County Academy breaking through, scoring an unearned run in the top of the third off Jeremy Beasley. So guess what? A base hit could tie this ball game in the top of the third. Bulldogs have played sloppy baseball in the top of the third. Here's the pinch. Off the plate. And one problem when you play uh, somebody like McIntosh, and this has been a problem in the past, especially when the Bulldogs have gone down to Darien, is, well, you look at their record. You beat them 16-1 to last time in five innings. You can't go into cruise control until you have the big lead. Right now, the Bulldogs do not. Swing and a miss. Two balls, one strike. Beasley working from the full windup. Runners at second and third and one down. Pitch to Smith, swings and hits it up in the air to left field. Christian Moore gets a late jump, comes in, catches the ball, and throws it in. The runner at third will stick because it was not hit all that deep. Two down. Brings up Brian Mixon. And the one-two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. And Beasley ends the third like he ended the second of the first with a strikeout. His sixth of the ball game, but the Bulldogs get sloppy at the top of the third. An error leads to an unearned run, plus a walk and a base hit. And runners are stranded at second and third. Bulldogs leading 3-1 as we take a break. You're listening to Bulldog Baseball on Y101. Blake Butcher did not go to Toombs County in his senior season. Went back to Coney County. Ball's hit left side. The shortstop Sons dies, makes the play, throws to first base and high and late. That'll be a base hit. Sons has really impressed me at short, and that's why... When we went down to Darien and I saw his name in the lineup as a catcher, I just went, no, he's not a catcher. I don't know what position he plays, but he's not a catcher. He's a fine defensive shortstop. At one point in time, about half his hits were doubles. It's the first pitch out of the play. Has only two doubles this season. Has 14 base hits last year. He had 10 doubles and 24 base hits. Speaking of home runs, I actually looked this up. I was wondering... Who leads like Georgia in home runs, and who leads the country in home runs, and how many home runs have they hit? Fastball is inside and missing to Christian Moore. The pitch had some pop on it. Bulldogs have seen a lot of slow pitching and curveballs in this game. There's a kid from Hartsell, Alabama. He's a bammer. Who leads the country in home runs. 
according to Max Preps. There's a slow pitch hit up in the air. High and deep to left field. Marcus going back, and that is going to be a fair ball into the corner. And the Bulldogs will have runners on second and third. And Christian Moore, just talking about his ability to hit doubles, hits one his third. So the Bulldogs, who lead 3-1, have runners on second and third and nobody out. For Ben Brantley, who singled his first time up his eighth base hit of his junior season. Brett Blackwood is a shortstop at Hartzell. They've already played 37 games. I don't understand that. They've played a lot of double headers. He's hit 12 home runs. He's 6'1", 185 pounds. He's batting 457 with a 538 on base percentage. And he's hit home runs against Hoover, which is my part of the world. I didn't go there. Actually, it was Barry back then. Ball's hit to the shortstop, Sons. One hop, and he's coming home. He guns the throw to home, and it's high, and run scores. And runners on first and third. Bulldogs lead 4 1. Bases juiced, and Mitchell working from the stretch. First pitch to Luke. Swings and hits it up into the air to left field. Marcus coming in. It's in for a base hit. That scores one of the ball, hops by him. It'll score two. Logan McGowan touching home. And Tyler Luke sliding into second with a single, and we'll give him a couple RBIs. One two pitch. Mobley swings, hits a ball deep to left field, and Marcus still going back, makes a catch. Runner's going to score from third, and the other one will move down to second, Chris Mobley. He's standing at first, but he's going to be out on that one, isn't he? Is that a base hit? I couldn't see it. I thought Marcus went back and caught it. It's the time of the day with his son, but Mobley was standing at first base like he had reached. Now they're Motioning him to go into the dugout. Sack fly RBI. Northview and Kell. Here's a pitch. Hit right side of the second baseman. Goes to a knee to make the play. Throws to first. Records out number two, but a run scores. DR picks up his second RBI of the ball game. Hitting the ball to the right side. He now has six runs batted in this season. Dogs eight. McIntosh County Academy won, and here's James Etheridge with a single and a double today. Bulldogs about after the Bryan County game. There's a ball hit to Beasley, moves to his left, and throws from the grass over to first base to Beckham for the first out of the top of the fourth. And you got four games next week. And you got three guys that are in what you would call the varsity starting rotation right now. Swing and a missed strike three on the 3 2. Tyler now has 14 strikeouts with nine walks. He struck out 16 last year compared to five walks. Down, dogs leading 8-1, top of the fourth. And the 0-1 pitch is hit up into the air in a right field. Blake Horton drifting back, but now he stops and catches the ball for out number three. So a couple of hit batsmen are left at first and second, and the Bulldogs still leading 8-1, going to the bottom half of the fourth inning as we break. Oh, why would I Had a single to lead off the third inning when the Bulldogs scored their five. Started the game on the mound. Pitched three innings. Swings and hits the ball by the third baseman into left field. He's two for three. Jeremy Beasley at third with two down. And Dylan Smith winds and here's his pitch. Strike outside edge. Patrick Kraft is playing for the Bruton Parker Barons. He's a backup second baseman. Last time I looked, he was one for seven. Doesn't get to swing the stick a lot, but gets to run the bases in just about every game. 1-1. One, one. Slow and missing high. Two balls and one strike. Brute Parker having a fine season. They're in second place right now in the Southern States Athletic Conference behind Faulkner, who won it all last year. Not just the conference, the national title. Ball's hit up high in the air to right field. Anthony went back. Now he's coming in. It's a base hit, and a run's going to score. So Stephen Garrett... Is swinging a hot stick for the varsity. And the Bulldogs lead 9-1. Last year, Tyler threw a combined 20 innings of varsity ball, but he also threw a lot of B-team innings. He was the number one pitcher for the B-team last year. Curveball's hit right out in front of home plate. Luke has the ball, looks back to third to look the runner back and throws to first for the second out. Bulldogs 9. McIntosh County Academy 1, bottom half of the fifth. Hunter Braddy, a right-handed hitter facing Buzz Sons, a right-handed pitcher for the first time in this ball game. Braddy playing the shortstop position today. Of course, he's been a second baseman all through his varsity career and even before that with the B team. 
Ball's poked right side and through for a base hit. Here comes Horton around third. He's going to score. And the Bulldogs will move Braddy down to second as the ball gets away. So Hunter Braddy does it in his final at bat. Extends his hitting streak to 13 ball games. Congratulations and drives in a run to make it 10 1. Swing and a miss, strike three. Strikeout number one of the ball game for Tyler Luke's seventh Buccaneer to strike out of the game. Beat Benedictine. Very exciting game. It's a Monday night makeup. They beat him 2 to 1. Swing and a miss. There's your strike three. Back to back K's. No balls, two strikes. Tyler working from the full windup. Will he challenge right here with the bases juiced and two down? Here's a pitch. Called strike three, and that ends the top of the sixth inning as the Buccaneers will leave the bases loaded on a walk, a double, and a walk. We're going to the bottom half of the sixth inning. The Toombs County Bulldogs 10, McIntosh 1 as we break on Y101. Righty, righty matchup. Good Beckham. Hit a birthday homer. Pitch is low and away. One ball, no strikes. That would be fun to do on your birthday, I would think. Hit a birthday home run, which in this case would be a walk-off. It would make it 11-1, to game over by the 10-run rule. I'm not calling it. I'm just suggesting it. Here's a pitch. Hit right side, and this is going to be in for a base hit. Picked up by the right fielder, Dallas Anthony. And Beckham has a birthday single. Good swing backside. Here's a stretch. Mixon comes set. Here's a pitch. Stroked into left field. Drops in for a base hit. Beckham coming to third. Will stop there as a left fielder. Marcus tosses it in. No chance to score. And in the ball game. But a nice swing. Backside by a guy who loves to go to the opposite way. Logan McGowan. Cliff Lee against Tehran. Swing and a miss strike three. Austin Williams with the K. I like watching that Cliff Lee pitch. See, I've told you this before. I like to watch good pitchers throw. And he's good, but he's given up a lot of hits this year. Why, I don't Wednesday. know. Thank you. Pitch called a strike inside. Edge, strike three. Two down runner at first. Put his left foot on the rubber. Anthony settles in, holds the bat up high, and awaits the pitch. 2-2 two, two to the plate. Swing and a miss, strike three. And this game is over at 7:09. Bulldogs winning 10-1 over McIntosh County Academy. Austin Williams comes in, strikes out three around two Bulldog errors. Dogs win at 10-1. Beat McIntosh earlier 16-1. And the Dogs are 9-4 in the region. Still in fourth place where they want to be. They'd like to be higher, but you got to be in the top four to go to the postseason, and so far, so good. We'll take a break and wrap it up on Y101.